area, but here's the four o'clock update uh, again. Winds of 65 still moving west northwest at five miles per hour. Kind of doing this little stair step thing as it gets you know, closer to land, and that's normal for a land falling system across our area. Pressure 993 millibars, 55 miles now southwest of Morgan City. So there's Marsh Island I was talking about. This is Vermilion Parish up toward Kaplan, Abbeville area, New Iberia, and there's Lafayette at the top of your screen. So this will be continuing working its way northward there. And as we go forward here at about 11 o'clock, that's when it's going to be inland. So we're talking late morning here up toward the Abbeville Lafayette area and then continue toward Alexandria by 1 a.m. on Sunday and then just kind of near Shreveport heading toward Little Rock and then into southern Missouri as we head into early on Tuesday morning. And so that's kind of what we're tracking with that. Still have the tropical storm and hurricane warnings in effect across the area too. But looking at the latest radar, so there's Morgan City circulation here. Notice the rain is not surrounding the western portion of it, but there's that big band of heavy rain I'm watching. A couple of them feature. This is going to cause all kinds of problems for Mobile, uh, the western shore of Mobile Bay there, heading toward Pascagoula and slowing on parts of Mississippi there. Another pretty hefty bag coming on, kind of clipping lower Plaquemines Parish, starting to curve back around a part of the north shore. As that comes in, we'll have to see that bringing us some pretty heavy rain too. And you can kind of see how bad it is in Dolphin Island to Mobile area. Scattered showers there on the north shore coming in. There's the Mississippi coast. Not too bad to get over to parts of the Alabama Mississippi line. Heading over to Plaquemines Parish all the way toward Abita Springs, Slidell, Hammond area. You can see some of the pretty good rains coming on in on the north shore now. Uh, they're brief, but they could produce quick little downpours for you. Crossing the lake here in the city, we've seen a few showers passing by. Nothing too significant, at least at this point. And then farther to the south, there's more of those light rain showers. Homa, Thibodeau, Raceland area, back over toward Galliano and La Rose, at least at this time, back down to Grand Isle. More of the rain continues, even some lightning starting to show up there with some of the stronger thunderstorms, especially out here kind of south of Mobile. That's how intense some of the rain is. And we still have a tornado threat out there for the day today, too. As you'll see, there is that slight risk for tornadoes across the area. Uh, and the bigger picture does show. You can kind of see where it's been moving and looking at a bigger picture of the Gulf. The eastern Gulf's pretty quiet, but all this moisture is actually down here. You can't see there on the radar. That is going to be heading up our way as the day goes on. Now, water vapor is still showing some drier air underneath this, but it's kind of being overtaken. This is really, really moist moist air and as that kind of swings its way through as the system moves off to the northwest there, that'll be spreading over southeast Louisiana later today. So for the rest of the overnight, if you want to still call that winds increase, scattered storms, downpours, a few tornadoes to the rest of this morning, it is Saturday, <laughs> a few tornadoes, heavy rain and wind. And then for tonight, windy, heavy rain, storm surge, still kind of keeping the water up there along the coastline. Still again, the impacts, we're talking 10 to 20 inches, uh, isolated 25. I think that's more to the west of us than here in the city. Coastal area surge, three to six, lake three to five winds inland about 25 to 45 may could see a gust to 70 or close to it later today coast sustained 45 to 60 could see a gust maybe as high as 90 with an isolated tornado threat out there today there you can see kind of the bullseye of the heaviest rains potentially here just off to the baton rouge to the morgan city area but notice how sharp the contrast is for rain coming on in so i need to change and don't worry about these numbers here i'll get those updated but as you go farther into the baton rouge area that's where we could see some of that heaviest rain coming on in with a pretty good rainfall and moderate uh, uh, excessive rainfall expected from New Orleans back toward the Baton Rouge area. Onshore winds, look at these 24. We're gusting to 43 in Kenner Reserve now, gusting to 47 in Homa, 41 at Lakefront Airport. So we have those winds kicking and they'll continue to go through 5:30 this morning, 7:30 this morning, maybe 54, 55, 60 to 74 mile per hour wind gusts down in Port Fouchon by 9 o'clock this morning. And as we head to about say 11 o'clock, sustained winds about 38, 35. They're gusting to over 50 late this morning by lunchtime as well. Continue Continuing on into overnight into Sunday, you'll see those winds still on 15 to 25 and continue higher gusts as we go forward as well. Now, storm surge warnings remain in effect and a few watches out there as well, too. Primarily, that is because we're talking just immediately along the lakefront where that three to five occurs three to six, though, down along the coastline. Flash flood watch also in effect as we're still looking for those really high rain totals out there today. And the Mississippi River here, I think this uh, didn't have to get the update, but it actually crested already. We're not going to get to 19 feet, which is some good news. So for today, again, you should should be already prepared out there. Uh, don't worry about uh, trying to get out and about today. Just keep it tuned here to Channel 4 with plenty of updates we'll have for you moving forward here. But you can see today, tomorrow, basically the heavy wet weather continues. Even into Monday, some bands of rain and then finally kind of back to more normal weather as we head into the rest of next week.